this tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how we can create a Drive Automator setup that will automatically send a thank you email to the users that will purchase one of my Drive Apprentice products that contains one or more courses and optionally other type of content as well. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the steps needed to be taken in order to achieve this scenario. So a visitor purchases a product that you've created in Tribe Apprentice in order to get access to one of your courses. And once they do that and receive the access, they will also receive a thank you email. For this, you will need to connect your website to an autoresponder. In my case, I will use ActiveCampaign, but please remember that you can use any service that you have created the connection to from your Tribe dashboard. So as I said, I'm going to access Tribe dashboard to create a connection with an autoresponder. I'm going to link a tutorial on how you can connect the services that we have integrated with from Drive dashboard. But basically, in the case of active campaign, you will simply have to add the API URL and API key in these fields, click on connect and the connection is ready. Next, we're going to make sure that the product has been successfully set up in Drive Apprentice. I'm going to hover over Drive dashboard and access my Drive Apprentice dashboard. Now this is the course that I want to sell and I will have to make sure that this course is included in one of my products. So if I go to the products section, I will see that I have this product that contains my photography course. Now for this one, I have also set up the Trifecard process for my users to be able to purchase this via Trifecard. And again, I will link a tutorial on how to do that as well. So this photography course that I have right here is currently protected by Trifecard and whoever wants to get access to this course will have to purchase it first. So once you've made sure that the product is set up, you can go ahead and start creating your Tribe Automator automation and we're going to access the Tribe Automator dashboard for that. Again, make sure to check out the tutorials about how you can create your first automation and how you can set up automations in case you need more information on that because we're going to briefly go through the steps that need to be taken here. So I'm going to create my first automation by clicking here and I'm going to start by naming it. All right. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and choose my start trigger. So the event that will start the automation, and this is going to be the user makes a tribe apprentice purchase start trigger. All right. Then I'm going to click on done and add the action that is going to take place once the user makes a tribe apprentice purchase which is going to be the add user in autoresponder one. Now you will be asked to choose the mailing service of your choice. And if you click here, this will open a drop down with the available integrations that you have previously set up in the Drive dashboard, as I've just shown you that I did with active campaign. So in case you have set up multiple autoresponders or services, you will see all of them listed here. So once I choose active campaign, I can simply start setting up this action. And first of all, we're going to choose our mailing list in which the users should be added once they purchase the course. Now this is optional, but you can choose a form that you want to use. And this is usually in case users are added once they fill in a form, but that's not our case here. But what's important is that we'll have to add a tag here, which is going to trigger the automation we're going to set in active campaign in a moment. So let's go ahead and add a tag. I'm going to call it photography course purchased. Once you've typed in a tag, you can simply hit enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, this will be added. I'm going to click on done and this automation is pretty much ready. We can go ahead and immediately publish it and click on save and finish. So up until this point, each time someone successfully purchases a Drive Apprentice product, which contains our course, they will be added to our mailing list in Active Campaign, and they will also have a tag associated to them. Now we can go ahead and create the setup in Active Campaign, and there we are going to create another automation that starts whenever a tag is associated to a user. So we're going to basically continue from this step, and then that automation will send out our email. Now let's go ahead and access our active campaign account. Now we are in active campaign. This is my dashboard. And as I said, we're going to set up an automation here that will start whenever the tag chosen back in tribe automator is added to a new contact. And then we'll send out an email to that contact. Now before creating the automation, we're going to have to make sure that we register the tag here. So for that, I'm going to go to the contacts section in active campaign and click on manage tags here. And in this field, we're going to add our tag. The one that we've used in the Drive Automator automation was the photography course purchased one. So this is the tag. I'm going to click on add tags and this will add it to my list right here. Now let's go ahead and add an automation. Let's go to the automations section of active campaign 
and create a new automation. All right, I'm going to start from scratch. And as a start trigger, we're going to go for the tag is added start trigger. The tag is going to be, of course, the one we've used in Tribe Automator. And as you can see, as you start typing it, it's going to show up here because we've just added it to the tags section of Active Campaign. All right, you can choose how many times this start trigger can run and then we're going to click on add start. Next, you'll have to choose the action to be taken once the start trigger event occurs. And here we're going to go for the send an email action. And of course, we can go ahead and set up the new email. First of all, we're going to have to name it and this is an internal name, so the users will not be able to see it. Then we can click on create and this will take us to this section where we can start designing our campaign. And of course, we can start from scratch or we can choose from a pre-built template. I'm going to quickly go ahead and set up my email. So once we've chosen the email that we've just created, we can click on save. Now the active campaign automation should look like this. And of course, as you've seen, it is so easy to set up automations in both Drive Automator and active campaign and then interconnect the two of them so that you can really create customized workflows for your own specific use cases. We can also name the automation here. And then as the last step, we're going to have to make sure that the automation has been set to active. And now the entire setup is ready. And we are ensured that whenever someone purchases the photography course that I'm selling on my website, they will automatically get a thank you email. Let's go ahead and test everything out and see what happens. Now, this is my homepage that is selling my course. And as you can see, if I hover over this button, we're going to see that the URL linked to it is actually the checkout form from Thrivecart. So I'm going to click on this button, which will take me to the checkout page of my product. Now, of course, this will depend on the way you've set up the payment system, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase the course. All right, the order has been made and the product has been purchased. Now let's go ahead and open our inbox. We are going to see a few different emails here. And the ones that interest us are, first of all, the Drive Teams invoice. And this is going to be the first email that is going to be sent. Then we're going to have the account has been created email, which is going to contain the username and password that can be used to access the course once it's been purchased. Then this third email is from another automation. This is not important right now. But as you can see, the last email that has made its way into our inbox is going to be the one that we've just set up. By the way, in case you want this thank you email or another email to be sent later on in the same day, you can easily add a delay in the active campaign automation. So then if you open this email, you will see that this is the exact email that we've set up in active campaign. Now, as I said, these automations can really be customized in the ways that you want and you can add more steps, of course, to each one of them so that you can create really customized workflows for your business. I really hope this tutorial was useful and please make sure to check out the rest of the articles and tutorials from our knowledge base as well as our YouTube channels. <laughs>